Hi everyone, Judy here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to share with you our cost of living here in Cebu City, Philippines. This is for the year 2021. Before we start guys, I'm going to explain to you our lifestyle here. Okay, our family arrangement. We are an OFW family. Okay, we are seven family members in one house okay that includes my in-law uh, two in-laws three kids one helper and me okay my husband is working in singapore okay all of his salary uh is not with me okay he just sends money here uh, a certain amount of money that i budget okay and we are going to break this down i'm gonna share with you the budget that he sent to me every month okay via remittance so all right now let's dive in so i have broken down all the expenses here guys and let's discuss one by one okay okay the first one we have grocery okay groceries we budget around fifteen thousand pesos we don't normally eat outside so in this fifteen thousand pesos eating outside two to three times in a month is already included here in the fifteen thousand pesos okay the next one we adopted for cat so cat food and litter sand um our monthly expenses is around two thousand two hundred ten about forty six dollars so our yeah, on the second column, guys, I put there the dollar conversion um, at 48. Okay, just so you, my foreign friends have an idea how much is the conversion. Okay, next, postpaid plan. I only have one postpaid plan. That's it. That is 1,000 pesos per month. And then home internet, 50 Mbps because we consume a lot of um, data. That's around 2499 per month again. Then next is gas plus parking fees. Um, parking fees includes uh, subdivision parking fees and parking from the parking in the mall or anywhere. So that is 2,600 pesos. And since I'm usually at home, so I don't go out much, so my budget for gas is lower than last year, okay? So before pandemic, my gas consumption is around 5,000 pesos per month, <laughs> okay? Now, next, our vehicle maintenance is 909. Vehicle insurance is 1,064. For vehicle maintenance, guys, we do it yearly, like full uh, check up full maintenance okay so that includes um, change oil everything okay so basically full maintenance of the car once a year and then now um, vehicle insurance again is 1064 and then gifts yes we budget the gifts so 2727 um, usually this gift under this gifts category sometimes there are unexpected um, events so those unexpected events we got it here so if we need to for example if a friend of ours lost a loved one so we send money as, as financial assistance because bur uh, burial expenses here in the philippines is quite high so to help out uh, a friend or a family or a relative we get the financial support under gifts and then gifts uh, during christmas we get the budget here okay any celebration that requires us to give as uh, gifts so we get we get it from this i would say cost center okay <laughs> next electricity our average uh, monthly cost is 6,500 um, <clears throat> that means uh, 6,500 we have we run two air cons every night time usually like 90% of the time um, our air con runs from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. okay uh, and then by the way guys electricity costs 
here in the Philippines is quite high by the way you must be mindful of your aircon usage <laughs> and anything that requires heating aircon is one of the culprit that makes your okay electricity bill go up next water 500 pesos vaccination for the kids uh, that's 2000 pesos and we don't usually use this uh, vaccination expense I normally just save this up for times like we needed to go for vaccination okay sometimes if I need to vaccinate the cat um, or if there is a need for me to bring the cat to the vet I will get the budget under vaccination okay and sometimes if we need to buy some medicines I get under vaccination cost center okay and then insurance for me and my husband it's five thousand per month um, and then uh, kids insurance is 1370 per month this is mostly emergency room insurance so it is not much by the way guys and then mortgage uh, this is one this is the biggest uh, cut okay this really eat up our budget 21,100 so this is the mortgage of our uh, townhouse unit we bought this unit um, about six years ago okay six years ago it was 3.4 million at that time so it was not it wasn't so expensive but now this townhouse unit is around you can buy this around uh, it ranges from five from five million to eight million okay it depends on um the design of the townhouse but basically here we are in the heart of the city <laughs> okay so the cost of housing here is really expensive now okay our f okay so we have mortgage 21,100 and then fire insurance for the house it's 1093 and then home MRI that means 600, 8, 683 pesos MRI is an insurance coverage for for example if my husband something bad happens to him in the future God forbid, the loan is automatically be considered as paid okay so we don't have to pay the bank anymore for the mortgage so if something bad happened to my husband okay knock on wood simba ko lang okay god forbid okay so this is an, an assurance for me as well guys if something bad will happen to my husband i don't have to think about the mortgage anymore because we have the mri insurance okay next since we have a house and lot we have to pay the real estate taxes our monthly budget for that is 330 that is for the building and lot already guys okay and then my husband gives me an allowance of 3000 per month i don't usually i don't usually buy um, material things only the necessary ones so i normally just save this up okay. next next is kids allowance we have 3000 I normally get um, budget here if I need to buy shoes, school supplies, clothes, anything related to kids, I get it from here in this cost center. Okay, and then next is school. We have 9,136. Um, this is actually lower, lower than last year, guys. So since the pandemic, I choose the home education, which is a cheaper compared to the online regular class so now my kids are paying 16,000 for the whole school year each so that's very cheap but um, the thing is I am the teacher I'm the one teaching my kids I do the modules and everything the management of the school and then every month the kids will just meet up with a uh, with a school advisor for the exam and that's it okay so that's why it's cheaper but last year this is about 15,000 per month almost 15,000 per month okay now next we have social security system that is 4,800 for the both of us so this is very important for us so that this is for our retirement and if we get sick and other benefits that we can get from the social security system okay so that's 4,800 
And then pag-ibig, this is the housing program of the government. We pay 1000 per month, okay, for the both of us. And then we also have subdivision fees, like home, home association fees. That's 333 pesos, okay. And then here, Judy Mother Insurance, that means my mom, I buy, uh, my husband doesn't pay this, so this is charged to me, that is 5349 So since my mom is already in her senior years, you know, the premium is high, and then I'm paying two, two insurances for her. One is life insurance plus, um, and the second one is hospitalization insurance, inpatient and outpatient uh, insurance, okay, so insurance as so. That's why I paid 5249 So, all in all, monthly budget for uh, family here in Cebu City, that's, that is 93203 So, in U.S. dollars, that is 1941 U.S. dollar. Okay? If I remove my mother insurance because my husband is only, he's not paying for my mother's insurance, that's basically 87854 around 1830 US dollars okay now let's go to the chart so you can see here this is our 2021 monthly budget the top five expenses that we have is number one mortgage number two the groceries so the groceries includes eating outside and food deliveries okay the next is the school and then the electricity and then the fifth the last one are the insurances so those are the top five expenses um we uh big expenses that we have in our household okay so you now you can gauge um that one thousand or less than two thousand dollars here in the philippines you're already living a comfortable life so of course you can delete some of the things that does not apply to you so here it just shows you that at one thousand, at less than two thousand, you're actually living a, a, a very good life already here in Cebu City. But it depends on your um, lifestyle as well, the groceries, if you cook your own food, or if you keep eating outside, or if you keep ordering food from outside. So that matters. And if you have your service unit, it also matters the the brand, and then what type of car you have so it also varies the maintenance also the i mean the maintenance cost also varies on that one and then um subdivision fees or condominium fees that also varies condominium fees and parking fees there are quite high here in cebu so if you don't have any kids so you can omit kids insurance and vaccination and school so is it renting better than buying a house so it it all depends on this one Okay, guys, so electricity, if you don't like aircon, you can cut this 6,500 to, I mean, you can lower the 6,500, okay, guys, you can lower it. Aircon is one of the culprit that makes your electricity bill go up. Okay, for water, it's not so much, so always check any um, leakage, um, especially your toilet bowl flusher, that's one of the culprit that really increase your water bill costs okay okay i hope this will help you in your decision if you are going to retire or if you want to come here to cebu philippines of course if you live in metro manila the cost will be higher than in cebu city if you live somewhere in the provinces your cost will definitely go down okay so Again, this depends on your lifestyle, on, you know, how many family members in one household. I hope this is helpful to you guys. And, yeah, if you want to ask me a question, just comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. Right, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a like. That will really help my channel. Okay, guys, before I let you go, please visit me at my site, c111.com. Okay, if you want to learn Bisaya Cebuano, if you want to learn Bisaya, 
head over to my site. I'm teaching Bisaya there. And subscribe to my members access plan. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Amping ganunay.